Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kids Health Revolution Kitchen. We are live today, Friday afternoon, um, lunchtime, hoping I can catch a few of you revolutionary parents out there that are maybe on a lunch break and are able to watch a video on the school snack series. So this is the live school snack series where we are cooking up wonderful nutrient dense recipes for our kiddos to put in those lunch kits so that we make sure that we are keeping our kids fueled up and those little bellies full and happy and their little bodies healthy and ready to go through the day, right? Because the school lunch kit is uh, tricky sometimes when we're trying to uh, change our kids' diet in order to help improve their health, decrease inflammation, all the things we're wanting to do when we're um, changing up our kiddos' diet. and. A lot of families struggle with what I'm gonna make for lunches. What am I sending in this lunch kit that's gonna help their health and that's gonna taste good that they're gonna eat, right? Because it can be as nutritious as the most nutritious thing in the world, but if they won't put it in their mouth and eat it, you're just wasting your time and your money. So these recipes on the School Snack Series are super simple recipes for the most part, and they're packed with nutrition and they taste good. They are kid approved. Usually I try out all the recipes on the kiddos in my life before I present them to you guys. Now today we are talking about a powerhouse of a dip and as I've mentioned before when we've made dips, dips are a great way to bring in healthy fats and other great nutrients for our kiddos uh, in ways that they might not approach them otherwise. Uh, however, you might have a kid like mine who is not a dip kid. He never has been. I don't know why, just doesn't really like the dips so much. So, um, unless it's homemade ketchup, he likes that one. Other than that, not so much. But this recipe today and some of the other dips I've made, you could also use as a spread. So you could spread it on the, some of the flax bread that we've made or some of the flat breads, the plantain flat breads, uh, and make a little sandwich out of it or a little tortilla roll. And that would be a great way to use it as well. So even if you have a kid like mine that's not so big on the dips, you can still enjoy this recipe. So you may have seen the pretty little picture that I posted yesterday. Uh, what's pretty in purple and tastes great on a vegetable stick. We are talking about a sweet beet and avocado dip today. So this is, you know, what it comes out and looks like in the end. We have more than this. The recipe makes more than this. It's just that we ate a bunch of it last night at dinner time. We had chicken wings and veggies, sticks and dip for dinner. So there you go. It is creamy and good and lovely. And I really think you're gonna enjoy this recipe. And I'm gonna talk about the ingredients that you need for it. We're gonna talk a little bit about the nutrients that are in them. I'm not actually making up the recipe for you today. Uh, number one, because it is so simple, really. Um, you can get the uh, recipe off of the Facebook page, the private group page. Uh, so if you're not in our private group, all you have to do is search for Kids Health Revolution private group, uh, request to join, I'll approve you. And then you can get all of the recipes that you see on the School Snack Series. You can download them from there or just copy paste them. So that's an option for you. And it's super easy, this recipe, so I don't really need to go through all the steps. That, and because we need avocados, my avocados for this today's recipe aren't quite ripe enough yet. And I could, I could probably get away with making it, but it's not gonna taste as good. So I don't wanna waste these precious avocados. Uh, so we're just gonna talk about the beautiful nutrient density in this and then you can go and make it and try it for yourselves. So let's talk about beets. Beets are a powerhouse of amazing nutrition. They have uh, choline in them. In fact, they're one of the best plant-based sources of choline. So if you are a plant-based family for the most part, uh, then beets are essential in your diet because choline usually comes from animal sources. And choline is a neurotransmitter, well, sorry, Choline is a precursor to a neurotransmitter in our brains, acetylcholine. So it's very important for brain health and brain balance. It also is really high in uh, betanine, a substance that's really important for liver support. So also very important for our kids that tend to be maybe a little bit slow in detoxifying or have some extra detoxifying they need to do. Uh, betanine is a, is a really important nutrient to include uh, in the diet. It's also very high in folate, which all we know that's very important for our nervous system. 
So really good, of course, because of this beautiful purple color, how can it not be high in antioxidants, right? So it's gonna help fight the free radical stress that we're all undergoing, not just our kids with chronic health conditions, but it's good for us too, right? All those antioxidants as we're aging. It's not happening to any of us, is it? Not aging, but you know, we can always have our antioxidants to help out with that. And then of course we have the beautiful avocados. So avocado, as I'm sure you know, is full of amazing healthy fats, but it's also an amazing source of potassium. And potassium is really important in helping regulate our immune system. So not one that we often hear about in terms of the immune system, but now that we're coming up to cold and flu season, potassium is a good thing to have in abundance in our diet. It's also important for nervous system regulation and can help out with anxiety and stress. So if you have a child who has any issues with mental health or anxiety, then this can be a great addition into your diet. Avocados with lots of potassium and all those healthy fats. Um, what else have we got in there? I just, I'm gonna check my notes here because sometimes I forget all of the nutrients. I have it written down in your recipe, but when I'm talking about it, it kind of slips out of my mind. Uh, also a really good source of folate. Um, so again, good healthy nervous system function. So really good stuff in there. Then all you're gonna need is some really um, excellent quality sea salt or Himalayan rock salt. So you're getting the um, minerals from your salt as well and you'll need lemon. So lemon in the recipe is to taste. I like it uh, quite lemony, -y, lemony, -y, lemony -y, I don't know, is that a word? Uh, so I'm putting in about two teaspoons of it. And then of course you need a beet. This beet looks really weird, wizened and old. Uh, it's just because I pre-roasted it last night. So a beet about that size, uh, even a little tiny bit bigger would be fine uh, for this recipe. And that's all you need. I put in a little herb into mine. So I put in rosemary in my recipe, uh, fresh rosemary. I wouldn't use dry in this recipe. Dried rosemary has a bit of a different taste. If you are going to try dry, make sure you cut back on the amount because it is stronger. So I use my fresh rosemary that I keep in my kitchen and my window here. Uh, you can also buy it very easily at the grocery stores. I just really like the earthy taste of it together with the beets. You could also use fresh basil, would be really nice in there, or some oregano. Uh, you could try some Middle Eastern spices in there, some cumin if you wanted to, make it more of a sort of a hummusy taste. And the other thing that's in here is olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil to uh, help to roast the beet. And then we also pour a little bit of olive oil into the uh, mixture itself. Then you throw it all into a blender and blend away until it's this beautiful, creamy, smooth goodness. And what I like to do when I'm sending it to school is I just spoon it into these cute little, oh, can you still see me there? <laughs> cute little um, mason jars and cover that up. And in a little separate container, I'm gonna send the uh, carrots and the celery or whatever he's having it with. Maybe he's having some banana plantain chip crackers or something like that with it. And he can just scoop straight out of that. Now, I've mentioned he's not a big fan of the dip, so I might try it. If he doesn't do it, then we're just gonna use it as a spread on other things. And I'm just gonna show you here that we've got this beautiful creamy texture. You can see that, it's lovely, it's a beautiful color. And it tastes really so good. And as it sits, the flavors kind of marry together even more. As always happens, that lemon starts to come through, the rosemary starts to really permeate through and it is super delicious. You're gonna love it on, as a dip, um, on you know your bread as a little sandwich spread, on a tortilla, all kinds of things that you can do with that. It'll last for about a week in the fridge and beautiful, there you go, a nutrient dense, beautiful snack that you can pack for your kids. And let's face it, we all eat with our eyes, hey? That's a really pretty thing to, to dig into in your lunch kit. Uh, so, there you go, guys, that's it. Super simple, it'll take you, the longest thing is roasting the beets and it's not like you have to stand there and watch them. So you pop them in the oven, let them roast when it's done. You make this whip it up in five minutes and you've got a beautiful snack for the rest of the week. So I hope that you like this recipe. If you have questions about this recipe or any other questions related to gut health or the journey to helping our kids improve their health through food, please feel free to post them below. I'm happy to scroll through and answer as many questions as I can. 
And remember that if you'd like to get the recipes uh, that you can copy paste or download, please join us over on the group, the private Facebook group. You can also get them sent to your inbox if you prefer to do it that way every week uh, so that you don't have to keep checking in. And that's done by joining the free community over at kidshealthrevolution.com. Now, I'm going to say don't go over there right now because I'm having some technical difficulties um, with the page. So my people are working on it. I was just on the phone with them for half an hour before I came online. I think we've almost got it resolved. So very soon I'll be able to send those things to you uh, via your inbox again. So that's another option. But for this one, make sure you get over to the private group and you can grab it from there. I'll have it up shortly this afternoon. So give this a like if you enjoyed the video and please, please, if you think there's somebody out there that could benefit from these sorts of recipes and this kind of information, please share the page with them. I'd love to have them join us. Take care, you guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.